An old Chinese jar. It is not a Chinese jar but a relic. This is perhaps one of the oldest objects that was saved from my grandparents' home. The house was sold last year by the eldest of their children. This relic was used to store coconut wine to be fermented as vinegar, sold by my grandparents in their store. This was also used to store drinking water, perhaps the coldest drinkable water available in those times, having no refrigerator yet in town. Now it is a relic, a surviving object from an earlier time, prior to the war, to the economic depression in the province, to the death of both its owner, the abandonment of the house, testament to the flourishing, the ups and downs, the mourning and the celebration of triumphs by the youth who dwells in it. Finally, the conveying of the property, the heritage of my family. An old Chinese jar. No, it is a furniture at the background of a weekly live stream. My weekly live stream talks about the provisions of the 1987 Philippine Constitution, like a parrot in a jar. It is actually guided by the decisions of the Supreme Court, absence except to personal feelings and any other opinions. It has been said that the bird parrots are being taught how to speak inside these jars by repeating the words over and over in the jar until the bird remembers the thing. They will come like magic, the parrot will learn how to speak. An old Chinese jar. It is not a Chinese jar but it currency. This design was traded long time ago by the Chinese in exchange for goods, spices, food, and animal produce. The maker actually told me that it is a Chinese design jar having a particular pointed base, a wide body, and slightly narrowed yet open mouth. According to UNESCO, the exchange started around 9th century to 16th century AD. The first historic reference to the Philippines appears in the Northern Song Annals for the year 972. It is stated therein that the Office of Superintendent of Maritime Trade was set up in Guangzhou in Guangdong and afterwards in Hangzhou and Mengzhou in Zhejiang to supervise the foreign trade with several countries including Mai. Mai was the old name of the island of Mindoro before the coming of the Spaniards. It 
it was considered as a country by the Chinese.